the kingdoms of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord. Let's turn our Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 4 from verse 8. Again the devil taketh him into the exceeding high mountain and showeth him the kingdoms of this world and the glory of them. And said unto him, All this will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him alone shalt thou serve. The kingdoms of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord. Let's look at the same chapter, the same event as let's see the way Luke carried it in the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 6. Luke, chapter 4, verse 6. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give to you, which is authority, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whosoever I will, I will give it to. Amen. Matthew talk about kingdoms. And Luke is talking about authority. So the kingdoms of this world is the authority of this world. The kingdoms of this world is the authority of this world. Jesus came to his disciple in the book of Matthew chapter 28 verse 19. He said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, which is the kingdoms of this world is now in my hand. In Revelation chapter 11, verse 15. He said, The seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. The kingdoms of this world has become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever. And in the book of uh, uh, the same Revelation chapter 5 verse 9. Look at it. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seal thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation verse 10 said and has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth and we shall reign on the earth so the church is the one in authority let me say this. The authority, all the authority in science and technology is the Lord's. All the authority in politics is the Lord's. All the authority in business world is the Lord's. All the authority in the world of entertainment is the Lord's. All the authority in education world is the Lord's and many more. All those authority, Jesus took it because the devil showed him all this and the glory thereof. And when he died, he collected all this authority. And he came to the church and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. All All authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Hallelujah. 
So when you understand this thing, you will know that there is no power in occultism. There is no power in witches and wizards. There is no power in all these things. Hallelujah. Isaiah, turn your Bible with me. Isaiah 21 verse 9 say, says and behold here come a chariot of men with a couple of horsemen and he answered and said Babylon is falling is falling and all the graven images of her gods he has broken onto the ground amen listen this place is showing you how the authorities of this world has crumbled the authority of the kings of this earth have crumbled the authority of those that are in politics even so many presidents in the world that think that they are in authority now the authority has been crumbled long ago and uh, revelation chapter 14 verse 8 also carried how Babylon has fallen. Amen. They, are, they have fallen. Let me show you something again from the book of Turn with me. Isaiah 24. Let me read from verse 18. It says, And it shall come to pass that he who fled from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit and he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare for the windows for the windows from on high are open and the foundation of the earth do shake the earth is utterly broken down the earth is clean is clean dissolved the earth is moved exceedingly the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison and after many days shall be visited. Mm. Look at it. The kings of the earth shall be punished. So the destinies of all the politicians that do not know Jesus has been designed by God. It has been designed by God. Their end has been designed by God. Verse 23 said, says, Then the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed. When the Lord of all shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his ancient glory. In the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 29 the Bible said that God will come with the glory of his father his own glory and that of angels it will come to the point that the, the, the son will no longer be noticed the son will become very ashamed hallelujah so I want us to understand that there is no authority in principalities and powers their authorities has been taken away it's not something that will be taken away it has happened already hallelujah their authority has already been taken away that's why we have ended the era of men and the body of Christ hello can you hear me Huh? We have 
ended the era of men in the body of Christ. We are now in the era of gods. We are now in the era of gods. The time that people will no longer be martyred for Jesus is, is already coming. That's why when the Bible was prophesying in the book of Revelation, he began to talk about the return of Moses and Elijah, the spirit of Moses and Elijah. What is their spirit coming to do on earth is to fight against kings, those that are in authority, is to challenge them. Hallelujah. That is what they are coming to do. To challenge those in authority. Because the way we are now, if you see what happened in this COVID-19, people team up to tell the world on what to do. So that's why God is returning back the spirit of Elijah and Moses to challenge those authorities. The authorities have been taken... But the church of Jesus now is still sleeping. They are still doing as if they are not in charge. So the era of men has passed. We have entered the era of gods. We have entered the era of gods and the body of Christ. That's why Romans chapter 8 verse 19 said that, that the endless expectation of creatures, they are eagerly waiting for the manifestation of sons of God. Those that have known that the authority has been given to them and they begin to exercise it. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want you to know this, if you can understand this. If the authority of science and technology has been taken away by Jesus, then bullets don't suppose to enter your body. Because when Jesus took away the authority, he took away those things that they will produce that can harm men. He took it away. And the authority is with you. That's why there are people now that bullets cannot kill. There are people that bomb cannot kill. I know what I'm telling you. They can be there, it will burst, and it will not do them anything. So, we are ahead of science and technology. All those instruments that they are manufacturing to hurt men, we are already in the generation that this understanding will sink on them. And they will become a terror to any kind of manufacturing because we are God's instrument. We are God's instrument redeemed by Jesus not to be killed by all those things. You say all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. All authority in a bullet to kill you has been given to me. All authority in a knife to kill you has been given to me. All authority has been given to me. All. He took it all. He took it all. Now, let me show you this generation in the book of Joel chapter 2. Open your Bible. I want to show you that this generation is in the Bible. The book of Joel carried it. Turn your Bible with me. The book of Joel, Joel chapter 2. Let me read from verse 2. It says, a day of darkness and gloomness, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountain, a great people and a strong, there has not been ever like it, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. Listen, Joel is prophesying the era of gods. He said, There has never been anything like it before. Neither will it be anything like it again. These are generation of gods. Amen. Verse 3. He said, 
a fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burned. The land is as the garden of Eden before them. And behold, them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Ah. Verse 4. The appearance of them is as like the appearance of horses, and as horsemen so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stumble as a strong people set in battle array. Before their faces, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall not climb the wall like men of war. Okay? They shall climb the wall like men of war and they shall march everyone on his ways and they shall not break their ranks. Amen? This one is talking about they will understand their purposes. Every of them will understand their vision on earth and they will run according to what God has put in their hands. But the, all of them are great in their number. And verse 9 says, Neither shall one trust another. They shall walk everyone in his path. And they shall fall upon the sword. And they shall not be wounded. <laughs> These ones will break every form of technology the rules and regulations of science and technology will be broken by this generation and we are already in that generation the generation of gods no matter the kind of material that technology have used to produce they will, they will make it to be little they will belittle it you will think that such instrument can kill them they will walk and pass it. We are already in that generation. Amen. Jesus said, All authority in heaven has been given to me. All. He took it all. There is none that is remaining. So this is why we need to begin to walk with this kind of consciousness that no one can be able to kill you. Walk by this consciousness that a witch cannot be able to stop you. Walk by this consciousness that no matter the level of the occultism, you are superior. Walk by that consciousness. Amen. Verse 9 said, And they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses and they shall enter at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heaven shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall withdraw their shining. These are mighty men of God. Mighty people in the body of Christ. Mighty people emerging from their God. Those who have no, that's why uh, the Bible said that those who do know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. They shall be strong. He said, all authority has been given to us. All authority has been given to us. I want you to begin to exercise that authority. The kingdoms of this world has become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ and he shall reign he shall reign he shall reign here he shall reign Jesus have to reign through us say and he has made us unto our God kingdoms and priests and we shall reign I want you to know this nothing is permitted to kill you nothing is permitted to kill you walk with this consciousness walk with this consciousness it does not matter how they have gang up whether human beings or spirit they cannot be able to take your life and verse 11 says the Lord shall alter his voice before his army 
for his camp is great is very great for he is strong that executed his word for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible and who can abide it amen so the church they are in a church of God is in authority but so many of us have not exercised the authority of God in that situation so many of us have not exercised the authority of God from today I want to urge you the kingdoms of this world is the authority of this world and that authority Jesus said I give to you Jesus said I give to you Revelation chapter 1 verse 8 Jesus said I have the keys of hell and death I have the keys of hell and death which means even the devil have, does not have the key to his house even the devil does not have the keys to his house I have the keys of hell I have the keys of death even hell itself does not have the key that's why the Bible said in the book of Revelation that both hell and death shall die second death so what are you afraid of if the destiny of death has been designed if the destiny of hell has been designed so what are you afraid of what are you afraid of that authority is in your hand it's in your hand I have discovered that any time the Bible talk about Antichrist Antichrist is a man that's why when the Bible talk about Antichrist in the, in the book of Revelation chapter 13 he ended it and it ended with the number of man so there are some people say you don't need to kill people don't need to pray the prayer or fall and die it's not true Jesus said forgive your neighbor there is a place that he also told us whosoever you did not forgive will not be forgiven so when the bible talks about principalities and powers it's talking about human beings there are human beings that are no longer in the level of men they are demons the bible talk about the beasts in the book of revelation those beasts that he's talking about is human body those that the devil has possessed in their body so those ones have to die you have to pray the prayer of I kill you I kill you amen somebody I'm praying for you with this understanding in your heart no man can kill you with this understanding in your heart I say no man can kill you listen we have to wake up oh. hello we have to wake up I read a book by Yon Kicho and he was talking how if you go to their side how people that are practicing Buddhism and uh, all manner of religion are manifesting miracles you know there is nothing new when Moses went to Egypt magicians also manifested signs and wonders but it come to a level that they could no longer manifest so we have to come to that level where we can manifest everything that God has given that's why we, we need to walk with this consciousness that we are in charge amen somebody that is not serving Jesus can stand and melt iron and you that is serving God you are not melting anyone Eh? hallelujah so these things is what they learn from us but we don't want to use it so they are using it I want you to begin to exercise the authority that you have received begin to exercise the authority that God has given to you from today it is God's desire 
that the church will understand the kind of authority that has been given to us. We have not fully aware of the kind of authority that has been given to us. Let me tell us something. We share the same authority with God. We share the same authority with God. Jesus said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. He said, therefore, go. Go with that authority. Go with that authority. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. For the church to manifest unusual miracles, then the church have to understand the place of authority. Jesus said, whosoever believes in me, the works that I do, he shall do. And greater works than this shall you do. For I go to my father. He is talking about the place of authority. He's talking about the place of authority. You that was dead in sin has he quickened and he has made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We are sitting in heavenly. So it is a place of authority which means we share the same authority with God. We share the same authority with God. So the same veto power that our father has we have it. We are God's people here on earth. That's why we are, we are the mouthpiece of God. We are the mouthpiece of God. Papa, the host of blessed memory understood this. This is why he will tell people, I am not waiting for God to come down. The meeting has been cancelled. It is time that we stop waiting for God to do for things that we ought to do for ourselves. Something was going wrong in Israel one of the day. And Elisha said, the Lord is like, the Lord is, is waiting. I can no longer wait for God. And he said, by this time, tomorrow morning, he said, there shall be food everywhere. He said, he, he did not wait for God. He manifested that authority. And God honored it. And the one that was sitting with the king said, how can this be? The man of God got angry and said, you will, you will see it, but you will not test of it. And when it happened that day, that man died that same day. He understood authority. We share the same power with God. We share the same authority with God. We share it. There, are, there is nothing that we cannot change here on earth. There is nothing that we cannot change here on earth. Nothing. No situation. No situation we can alter any kind of situation we can alter it as the church we can alter it that's why when Peter was in the prison the church began to pray for him and an angel descended and tapped Peter and said stand up the man thought he was sleeping but when they passed the gate he now discovered that this thing is happening in real life Nobody, no authority on earth tell Peter to leave the prison. It was the church that said, we have decreed that Peter will not die tomorrow. And God honored it. We share the same authority with God. Let's begin to use these things. Let's begin to use these things in our, in our affairs, in our dealings with people. Somebody here, I want you to pray the prayer of authority right now. Look at that situation. Jesus said, whosoever that shall say to this particular mountain, go! That is an authority. 